Welcome back to the AIM Podcast, episode 35. Guys, last week we had an incredible guest named Boss Everline. I had a great time with him. The quick disclaimer that I didn't actually mention in the episode was that we had just finished working out. I had an opportunity to go to LA and, and train with him and his team. And he's just such a high energy guy. It was awesome. He brought so much value to the conversation. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check that out, make sure you go listen to that episode. You guys will love it. Today is just going to be me. We don't have a guest this week. We've got a lot of great guests lined up, but this is a topic I really want to cover. And I think this is something that can help a lot of people and it can be very relatable. And that's embracing your story. For many of you guys who have followed along the AIM journey and been there from the start, you guys know our story. But obviously, we're very grateful for all the growth and the new additions to our family that we've had in the recent months. And so I think it's important to talk, kind of set the tone and give a little more context to our story and how all the events, good and bad, can actually shape your trajectory of where you're headed in life. And with the right mindset, you can be fulfilled and you can maximize your potential as long as you have the right mindset. But prior to jumping into that, quickly, we just want to go over a couple announcements You know, we're super excited. We're going to be speaking to UNC Asheville's campus tonight. I think this is a place where, you know, we're going to be able to really impact, you know, the communities of these different communities outside of just Western alone. So we're going to be looking to do public speaking events at a variety of schools with UNCA right in our backyard. We're pumped to kick off our our tour with them and just have a great time. You know, we're going to go there. We're going to have a lot of energy. We're going to meet, you know, their students and just have a great time in their community. Another thing I want to shout out is we've switched our website. So our website looks a lot better. In our opinion, our team's been working super hard on just optimizing how we can make it the best experience for you guys. And so we switched that up. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, same URL, just go check it out, ambitionandmind.com. Excuse me, ambitionandmind247.com. You guys can go check it out. We've got our gear. We were promoting our app. If you want to train with us, you'll have access to do that on the website. So go check it out. You guys are going to love it. This week, our Motivational Monday topic was kind of themed for Labor Day weekend, and the topic was, no human masterpiece has been created without great labor. This is is great, because I think at the end of the day, the secret to success, in my opinion, is just work, is hard work, because no one can take that away from you. No external factor can limit that, and at the end of the day, if you truly want something bad enough, you just have to put in the work. And it it goes hand in hand with the Labor Day concept and theme. And so that was kind of our topic this week. If you guys want to be a masterpiece, if you want to maximize your life and be the best version of yourself you can possibly be, you got to put in the work. And don't do it for other people. Do it for yourself because at the end of the day, you're the person that's going to believe in yourself. No one else is going to do it for you. No one's going to put the work in for you. So make it count every single day. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in here. I think this is important. This is a topic that we have to talk about. This is a topic that I'm hoping can really relate and be and resonate with people, and that's embracing your story. I think it really boils down to this. At the end of the day, if I could sit here and tell you guys the single most impacting factor that's limiting you from reaching your full success, would you listen to me? And I think the answer is going to be yes across the board because at the end of the day, we want to be we want to be better we want to be great everybody does I, if i could sit here and say who doesn't want to be successful no one's going to raise their hand no one's going to admit to that everyone wants to have some level of success but i think the problem is some of us are not ready to have a successful mindset and so that's what we're going to jump in tonight just having a successful mindset and how we're using the events in our life our experiences and our exposure to shape us and hopefully put us in a position to reach our full potential to give you guys some context, just kind of jumping into my story a little bit. I'm obviously, I grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina, have a basketball basketball background, have a, you know, played sports all my life. And that's kind of how I got to my, that's how I got to Western. It was through basketball. And that's what brought me here. Obviously it was God's plan, but you know, growing up, I didn't have a smooth path to Western. I, I definitely traveled and, and rode the road of adversity. I had a lot of different things that come up, came up and made my life more challenging in my home life, um, I, I'm super, super, you know, forever grateful for my mother and the sacrifices she made to always support me and always love me when I didn't have the best father figure. But ultimately, during that time of confusion and anger and adversity and just hostility and things where I could have easily said, you know what, I give up. I'm not going to work hard. I, you know, life's not perfect for me. I could have easily gone that direction. But what I want to tell you guys today is that sometimes 
the hardest things in your life, the things that you think are literally limiting your success are actually the biggest blessings that you could ever have. And you don't always see it in the moment. And that's the hardest part. So if you're listening to this right now and you're going through something hard, my encouragement to you is to keep pushing and keep your head up because there's always light at the end of the tunnel. But you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel when your head is down, when you're down on yourself, when you're not believing. You gotta have faith, you gotta keep your head up and you gotta keep pushing forward. Looking back on it now, I can easily and, and confidently tell you that growing, going through all that adversity as a kid and, and not having a good father figure and seeing my mom work so hard and all the different trials I went through, it shaped me, it shaped my personality, it shaped my drive, it shaped my ambition. Because I saw two examples. I saw one example of someone who gave everything they could to support and to love and to care for other people and to find impact and fulfillment of making someone else better. And I saw another person who literally didn't do their job, was not a good leader, was very, very lazy, had no ambition. And so from an early age, I was like, which one do I want to be like? And I think we can all say that at the end of the day, we want to be the best versions of ourselves. Fast forward to 2020, another year of adversity for everyone in some capacity, whether it be race relations, the coronavirus, just just different things, isolation, not being able to communicate or see people from a social standpoint. Somebody dealt with adversity in some capacity. And I think the cool thing about that is you saw so many blessings come out of all that adversity. This platform we've built with AIM came out of that adversity. Thankfully, our team all had the same vision and we came together and we said, look, there's got to be a change. We've got to take this hard spot this adversity, this dark time, this dark place in time, and we've got to bring something good out of it. That's perspective, and that's mindset. And I think that's what AIM started it with, and that's what it's going to continue to do. We built a mindset. We built a movement based around bad events, but you can see there where you know, what we wanted to do was just bring light and bring positivity and make an impact, and it's all perspective. And I think that's the biggest point here I want to make is that no matter if it's good events or bad events in your life, perspective is everything. If you look at it with the right eyes, with the right lens and have the mindset, again, everything starts in the mind, guys. Like you have to work, you have to take action, but it starts in the mind. If you have the right mindset of taking a negative event and finding the good, finding the light in it, that is how you're ultimately going to reach your maximum potential. And that's hopefully what we're going to do with this platform. And that's what each and every one of you guys can do in your own lives, no matter what you have going on, no matter what's going on with your family, with your jobs, with your school, with your sports. No, it doesn't matter because with the right mindset, you can, you can reach your full potential. And at the end of the day, it really boils down to this, your experiences and your exposure. And I think this is where some people get scared and they're, they're afraid that other people are going to look at them in a weird way or make fun of them or judge them. If you're exposed to the kind of people that are doing that, you got you to check yourself because at the end of the day, you don't want to live your life for insecure people that are looking to bring you down because they're not confident in themselves enough to take ownership of their life. The scariest thing I could see is looking out here and seeing a group of people that have the utmost potential. There could be someone listening to this podcast right now that might be the best artist in the world or the best musician in the world or the best fill in the blank, it doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, guess what? If you don't pursue your dreams and block out all the negative energy, you'll never know. And I, you know, the encouragement kind of wrapping this thing up is to embrace your story, embrace the good and the bad with the right mindset and perspective, and never ever listen to the insecure people pulling you down. Because if you love something, if you have a passion, a desire, an ambition, you have to give it everything you have, put your life into it, find fulfillment, and keep crushing it because at the end of the day, you can do it and you're doing it for yourself and not for other people. And that is what it's going to last. Doing it for other people might be fun in the moment. You might get approval from the people you think are cool that you think you need approval from, but it's not going to last. It's temporary. Doing it from yourself, doing it for yourself, on the other hand, is going to give you the full fulfillment, the full impact, the full drive and fulfillment that you really need. And that's what's going to take you further and allow you to maximize your life. Guys, you can do it. You're, you were built for this. Go out there and crush it every day. Have the right perspective, have the right mindset. And as always, keep ambition in mind.